Okay, Tara, thank you. A good way to earn yourself some cash for the weekend is to help solve a crime and make your city a better place. Detective Casey Cantrell, of course, from Miami Valley Crime Stoppers, uh, joining us now live. Always great to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. We're going to talk about three homicide cases today. We need to bring these families uh, some closure. I mean, when you talk to them, you can still, the pain is still right there. I mean, you and I have done this, sadly, for too long. Let's start with 22-year-old uh, Carl Williams, who was found shot uh, back in January 2014 at his Brightwood Avenue home uh, in Dayton. We actually ran this story uh, on Tuesday here on 2 News and, and watching that again and seeing the interview with his mom, I mean the anguish is still right there. It just doesn't go away for these families. No, and this family desperately wants closure and we have received good information on this um, case before. So we're asking anybody if you have information or if you'd called in in the past, if you could please call back in and make contact with us again. We're still diligently working the case. And, and we can't stress enough, you can do so completely anonymously. That is correct. That's the beauty of Crime Stoppers, not only the cash reward, but when we say that we'll never know your name, we mean it. Right, they're assigned an alias ID, and um, we never have to know their name from the beginning to the end, and even when the reward is paid out, uh, okay. we don't know their identities. So I always want to remind people of that. Uh, next, the case of 40-year-old Larry Axel, who was found lying in an alley uh, behind the 3700 block of West 3rd. Uh, this was back on June 16th. Uh, he was also shot to death. Uh, no known suspects or vehicles, so you could use some help on this one, I guess. Definitely, yeah. This one is... Um, um, you know, not a whole lot of information, so we're desperately trying to get information from anybody in the public. Maybe somebody heard something that night. Maybe somebody's bragged about something. But if you know anything at all, please call Crime Stoppers. Yeah, it is true. It's amazing how many times people will brag about this stuff, and you overhear something, and there you go. That's true, right. Yeah, that's how crimes get solved. Mm -hmm. All right, finally, uh, November 17th, uh, 2013, a close friend found Jeffrey Lewis Sr. There he is, murdered inside his home on England Avenue uh, in Dane Homicide detectives uh, believe the death actually occurred the day before. What else can you tell us about this one? Well, this is another one, too, where we're looking for information. Um, we're close to solving this one, but we still need that bit of information that will help solve the case. So if anybody knows anything about this uh, case, to also call Crime Stoppers. You know, the family needs closure in this case as well, as do all the families. Um, they all cry out for justice and would like to see uh, some closure in this case. We always give the phone number, 222-STOP, 222-7867. But technology has changed. There are so many ways now that people can share their information with you and do so anonymously. Let's talk about that. That's right. There's the text tips option. Uh, you can text your tip to tip 400 plus your message to crimes, which is 274. 637. It goes through special software that strips your phone number from the call and assigns it an alias ID. So I can still communicate with you back and forth, but it's through a third party server. Okay, so if you can help us really solve any crime, 222 stop or any of those other ways, and uh, you'll be doing the right thing as a citizen and making your city a better place. That's right. Thank Casey, you. Casey, always great to see you. You too. Have a great weekend. You too. All right, Katie.